Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. Uh, this is chemistry. All right, and of course, um, we are going to continue our learning. Uh, this will be the final class on our study of acid bases and salts. All right, so um, I checked into your jump syllabus and I discovered that this part is also a very important part, and that is why I'm adding it because the last episode was supposed to be the last class on acid bases and salts. All right, and today we are going to be looking at salt hydrolysis. Salt hydrolysis. All right, so uh, do not forget that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam CBT Practice app. It is the best CBT practice app available online. All right, it has all the past questions you need for your exam. Uh, there are so many study mode on the app. The app is structured like your Jam CBT exam, just like the way you are going to sit on that day. All right, you can practice on the app. You can take you, there's a study mode, there's even an exam mode, there's a mock mode. You can take different mock exams on the app. There's even a wonderful feature called the classroom feature where you can interact with what with our AI using chat gpt to what to ask questions why you are confused when looking to what to study also there's a wonderful feature called the utm challenge that UTM challenge is one of the best features we have on the app all right where you compete with all that jam by writing exam for this year all right as you compete you win prizes and then of course you are able to what to see your weak areas and what and your strengths because your scores will be released after every challenge and we'll do this challenge every saturday every saturday till one week to your exam so many reasons why you should jump on this app immediately are uh, that is left for you all right because activation is just three thousand naira for the app all right but of course if you can it's, it's a little token you can sacrifice to what to get the app activated and get all the wonderful world benefit there are so many other other wonderful features of the app that i don't want to talk about there's a word that, uh, there's a question search feature where you can search for what for questions by topic all right, and you are going to get what all the questions that have been set under a particular topic. So after you have what taking a lecture on sort hydrolysis, you can look just search for go to question search, choose chemistry, search, uh, type sort hydrolysis there. Any question that have been set on sort hydrolysis will come out for you to what to see. All right, so please jump on the app and do not sleep on it. So today we are going to be talking about salt hydrolysis. By the word hydrolysis, right? By the word hydrolysis, you already know that what I'm talking about water, uh, water, then lysis, water. Hydro is what? Hydro means what? Water. So that is why hydrolysis means splitting by means of water. Hydrolysis means splitting by means of water. So this is just what, what hydrolysis what means. You split using what water. That is what hydrolysis splitting by means of water. Now, I've known this. Know that uh, when soluble salts are added to water, soluble salts, when soluble salts, salts are added to water, they are split up into ions. When soluble salts are added to water, soluble salts are added to water, what they all happens is that what? They are what? Split up into ions, into what? Ions. All right. Now let us see some more some sorts and see what are uh, uh, the 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 pH in solutions. All right. Now when an acid salt forms solutions, when an acid salt now when an acid salt we will talk about what all the type of salt in the previous episodes. Right. So please make sure that what we are we are following us from the first episode up to this moment because when we enter into another episode into another topic you will be what. You'll be aware of it and you'll be able to, to follow us accordingly. All right now, when acid salts form solution, acid salts, when they form solution, what happens is that what? That, that solution is usually what? Acidic. That solution is usually what? Acidic. When an acid salt forms solution, the solution that they form, they are usually what? Acidic. And because they're usually acidic, they will have a pH, pH that is what? Less than 7. All right, we have talked about pH before, so I'm not going to talk about it again. Just know that when acid salts form solution, right, the solution are usually what acidic, and they have a pH that is usually what less than seven. Now, when basic salts, basic salts form solution, right, the solutions are usually what alkaline. All right, for here the solutions are acidic, all right, and have a pH less than seven. When basic salt form solution, the solutions are usually what alkaline. 
All right, and because they are alkaline, they will have a pH that is what greater than seven. All right, so because the word they are alkaline, they have a pH that is what greater than what than seven. Now, but when normal salts, but when normal salts form solution, right? What happens is that what that the solution can either be what it can either be acidic, can either be what uh, alkaline, or can be what neutral. Right, so when normal salt forms solution, the solution may either be what they may be acidic, all right, they may be what uh, they may be what alkaline, alkaline, or they may be what neutral in solution, all right. So, this is what happens. So, because now it is clear to us that when acid salt was uh, form solution, that those solutions are usually acidic. And they have a pH less than seven. Now, when basic salt form solution, the solutions are usually alkaline, and they have a pH that is greater than seven. But when normal salt form solution, right, the solutions are either what they may be what acidic, they may be alkaline, they may be what neutral. So the whole idea of salt hydrolysis, right, is for also what to determine the result of what of the dissociation of what of normal salt. What happens? How do we know when what acidic when when what a solution is what is acidic or when a salt? When the pH of a salt is what is going to be what acidic, it's going to be alkaline or what neutral, right? When the pH of a normal salt, now normal salt, we already know what, what happens for acid salt, what happens to what for basic salt. But for normal salt, when does it become what acidic? When does the normal when do you say that a normal salt is what is alkaline? When do you say that a normal salt is what is neutral? So this is the whole reason why we are what we are talking about what this topic salt hydrolysis. Now, if you consider if we consider what a salt, they were giving what a salt, e.g., uh, mx. Yes, we are giving a salt. If I are giving a salt, mx. All right. So if mx wants to dissociate, right, or what, um, or ionize, what happens is that what it is going to what ionize into what now, m plus then plus what x or minus, isn't it? Yes. So this will be the result of dissociation of a salt. For example mx all right you're going to have the positive side the cation and what and the water and the anion all right so m plus plus what x minus now we want to, once we are giving a salt like this for example right and then we want to determine the ph of what or that salt in solution this is what we do we simply will first of all the first thing the first thing the very first thing we do is to what is to dissociate what that what salt into what into ions all right just like we are doing here now all right so whether we carry out ionization right on it or we we'll dissociate it so m plus uh, mx will give us what m plus then plus what plus x minus now having done this now what we do is that the next step we do is to add oh to the word to the word to the positive side and then add what h to the word to the negative word side now this is the second step first step is to dissociate it what into what ions like this second step is to add oh that is the hydroxide ion to the what the hydroxide to the what to the uh, positive side and then uh, uh, h plus to the what to the negative word side so if we do that now adding what oh to m plus will give us an moh all right i'm going to have moh if i adding what h to this i'm going to have what now hx all right so now this what acid and what an alkaline that are formed. This is an alkaline, this or this is an acid. All right. So now you now what look at the what the acid and the alkaline that is formed. All right. Then you will now be able to, to draw up conclusions. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to give what a life example, but for now, let us just see this. So first step, dissociate what the uh the salt into what a ions like this, and then add OH to the word to the positive side and H to the word to the negative side. So that I'm going to have what this is what an alkaline. Alkaline, this is what a what and what an acid. All right, so now we now what take a, co a closer look at what at what at the alkaline and the acid that is formed, then we'll be able to, to draw up what conclusions. Now, what are the, what are, what type of conclusion can we draw from what for from doing something like this? Number one, the first conclusion can draw is if the acid and the alkali formed right because this we just form what an acid and alkali from this by adding oh to this and adding h to this we we'll form an acid and an alkali if the acid and alkali form are both strong now if the acids acid and alkali 
are both strong. So are both strong. Then the salt will be neutral in solution. All right. So now, if the acid and alkali that are formed, right, this and this, if they are both strong, then what? The salt will be, what, will be neutral in solution. All right. Now, number two, if the acid, if the acid, if the acid is stronger than the base, if the acid is stronger than the base, then the what? The salt will be acidic in solution. All right, so that is the second what inference you can draw from this. Number one, if the acid and alkali are both strong, if both of them are strong, then what the salt will be what? neutral in solution. If the acid is stronger than the base or than the alkali, then what the salt will be what will be acidic in what in solution. But what about if the base, if the base now is stronger than the acid, all right? If the base is stronger than the acid, then the salt, the salt will be what? Alkaline now in solution. All right? So these are what the inferences I will can draw from what for doing this by adding OH to this and adding H to what to this. Now, we we'll now look at the resulting alkali and acid that is formed and then we'll draw up what inference. Now, if the acid and alkali are both strong, then the salt will be neutral in solution. If the acid is stronger than the base or stronger than the alkali, then the salt will be acidic in solution. Then if the base is stronger than the acid, then the salt will be alkaline in solution. So this will be what the inference we are drawing from what? From the what? I, uh, uh, from this uh, from this ionization all right and then adding what oh and what an h what to the word to to the acid to the positive and the word negative side what respectively now let's now take a look at some examples of real word source so that what we put the word to know how the, uh, the resulting ph in what in solution whether they are going to be what acidic or they can whether they, whether they are going to be what alkaline or the word neutral now let's see some sorts. For example, if you have a sort like NaCl, you have what? Sodium carbonate Na2CO3, and of course NH42SO4. Right? If you have all these three sorts, this was sodium chloride, the sodium uh, carbonate, and this was ammonium tetrahydrate six. All right. Now, if you have all these three sorts, I want to find the result. I want to find the pH of what of the resulting solution. What we do is simple. NaCl with so NaCl with we dissociate into what Na plus and what and Cl minus, isn't it? Simple as ABC. Now we add what OH to the positive side. So I'm going to add NaOH and what add H to this negative side. I want to have ACL. Now you ask yourself: Is this alkali a strong alkali? Then is this what uh, acid a strong acid? Yes. So dumb I is the principal base used in industry. It's one of the strongest bases you have. All right. So then hydrogen um hydrochloric acid also is also a very very strong acid and because what sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid are both strong both strong then of course what will happen to what the solution the solution will what the sort of what will be neutral in what in solution neutral neutral in solution so this will be our verdict our verdict is that what the sort of what will be neutral in what in solution Right? All right, so it will have a pH of what? Of seven. Now, having done this now, let's look at what sodium or carbonate. Now, this will break down to what? Na plus also and CO3 two minus. All right? So now what we do, we add what? H to this side, uh, and OH or, uh, OH to this side, and then H to this side. If you add what? Add OH to this side, I'm going to have what? Sodium or hydroxide also. All right? Then having this, and then if you add H here, I'm going to have H to CO3. Now, you ask yourself the question, is sodium hydroxide a strong alkali? The answer is yes. Now, if is H2CO3 a strong acid, the answer is no. H2CO3 is a very, very well, weak acid. And because, because now, now because the alkali is stronger, because the alkali is stronger, what number I read it? I read it 
will be that what that what uh the the sort of is going to be what definitely what now alkaline in solution alkaline in solution all right i hope i'm getting a hang of it okay so it's that simple now for the third what uh sort of having ammonia tetrodos of a six so that will break down into what ammonia in your nh4 plus all right and then um so for two minus now if we add oh here i'm going to have ammonium hydroxide nh4 oh and then here i'm going to have what now h2 so4 all right please before we continue please like this video just give it a like just click on the like button right away liking the video will make other students easily find this video right of course after liking make sure what you subscribe subscription is free for this channel so just click on that red subscribe button below this video click on it right away and begin to watch uh, uh, uh so that what whenever we publish a new video once we publish it you get a notification on your phone that we have released a new video and it will make you able to what keep track of what of our teaching what progress all right now when what uh uh at uh, ammonia tetras of a six what is I'm going to have NH4 plus and SO4 2 minus. And if you add OH, yeah, I'm going to have what ammonia hydroxide. And then if you add what H, you are going to have H2 or SO4. Now, divide it. Now, what happens here? Because I've done this, I've seen that what ammonia hydroxide is a weak, is a weak alkali. The H2SO4 is a strong acid. All right. So, because of that, now I'm going to have this one is what the acid is stronger. Acid is stronger. So, because the acid is stronger, what to be our verdict? Our verdict with our that the salt is going to be what now? Uh, going to be acidic in solution. All right. So, that will be our verdict. Okay. So, I'm going to try to recap this topic. I recap this class. Talk about salt hydrolysis. I'll say hydrolysis means splitting by means of water. And say that, well, when soluble salts are water added to water, what happens is that what they are split up what into what ions. Now talk about acid salts in, in solution. We say when acid salts and water are in solution, when they form solution, the solutions are usually what acidic and they have a pH that is less than seven. All right. And we say when basic salt form solution, they are usually what alkaline and they have a pH greater than seven. But when normal salt form solution, they may be acidic, they may be what alkaline or they may be what neutral. So the whole idea of this topic is to what. Is to allow us to know when what uh, when the salt is going to be what when 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 it's going to be what a uh, neutral when it's going to be acidic and when it, when it's going to be what to be alkaline all right and then we we'll give an example of what of an acid for, of a salt rather mx dissociating three ions and then i told you the process of what of determining whether what a normal salt is going to be what whether it's going to be uh, acidic neutral or what alkaline solution I'll give you examples of what of what of some of some salts and then we will dissociate them we did what add o, added oh to the world to the positive side and added what uh, h to the negative side and then we got what our acid and because for example here NaOH and what HCl are both strong alkaline and acid we say the what the salt is going to be neutral in solution you are going to have what a ph of, of seven now for this having what is strong alkaline having a weak what acid all right, because of that, the pH is going to be what? Uh, going to be greater than seven. It's going to be alkaline what in solution. Then here, yeah, having what a weak base, a weak alkaline, and having a strong acid. Because what the acid is stronger, they are going to definitely what have what acid what in, uh, uh, it's definitely going to be what acidic in solution. This way, I'm going to stop. Please do not forget to what to like and do not forget to get your ultimate school jump up and begin to practice today. My name is Olabutangol. The this episode, we are going to start talking about periodic table. See you there.